everyone and welcome to my new YouTube channel. My name's Aaron Willett and I go by the name of RC Blaine Guy on most of my social media channels, uh, Instagram, TikTok and now YouTube. I've been wanting to experiment with YouTube videos for a while now, um, but not yet got around to it. So this is the first kind of little trial, an introductory video first, and then I'll start off with a few other basic videos maybe cover off a bit of build progress on my P47 and some other how-to videos. If I enjoy doing it and the viewers enjoy watching it, then by all means I'll continue. Um, but yeah, let's see how things go. So firstly, I'd just like to point out that I'm by no means an expert in this hobby. I am just purely someone who enjoys the hobby and getting involved with it just as much as any other hobbyist does. So uh, whatever I say in these videos, don't take them for expert knowledge, just take them as what I've kind of had my own experiences. And by all means, feel free to use it if it's helpful and take your own takes on it. But um, yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there as well. So first off, just a short background about me. So as I said, my name's Aaron Willett. I'm currently 28 years old at the point of making this video. And um, I started in the hobby somewhere back around 2010, so I've been doing it about 13 years now. Uh, I first got involved back in when I was in a high school work experience placement when I was put with a man at an engineering company who was already in the hobby and we got chatting and he invited me down for a day to a local club. I went down and that was pretty much the end of it. I was hooked. Um, so I ended up bought, buying my first plane, which was a Chris Foss Uno Watt, um, powered by a 32 size nitro heli engine. Um, and yeah, it just kind of went from leaps and bounds from there on really. In the early years of my hobby, I was pretty much in and out of it a little bit. So whilst learning to uh, go through school and starting out in working life, learning to drive, um, all sorts of things going on. So it was, I'm sure like most people, very much just a as and when kind of hobby, a bit of free time here and there, but not greatly into it. Uh, it was really kind of then around 2016 that I really got more into it and um, started to pick up um, more time in the hobby. Around 2018, I bought my first turbine jet, which was this one here behind me, my Boomerang Nano, which is powered by a Ren 44 gas start turbine. Um, we can cover more of that later, but um, yeah, that was when I really got into the, the kind of the bigger models and the jets and enjoying more of the hobby of what it can offer. 2018 was also the year that I started my Instagram account, so RC Plane Guy in one, with underscores between the RC Plane and Guy. And um, by all means, look me up and follow me on there if you're not already. Um, I've now uh, coming up to the 7,000 followers mark, which is crazy numbers really, and far exceeds anything I ever expected that I would get on there. For people to be showing an interest in my hobby, sharing my pictures and videos, it's, it's really great to, to interact with everyone and see what everyone else is doing all over the world in the hobby. It gives me lots of ideas and hopefully what I'm doing gives lots of other people's ideas and hopefully that's what I'm doing these YouTube videos for to further expand that even more. So that pretty much brings us up to date. I've got a great setup here at home um, where I've been building a bit of a workshop up for the last sort of three years or so since we moved into our house here and um, yeah it's been great and it's just developing day by day. Um, so I try to get out lots of flying as much as I can, I'm sure uh, most of you do. It's um, as and when I can, I'm getting out across various different flying events, shows, fly-ins. Um, and just you know, kind of flying at my local clubs as well, as and when I can, up and down the country, all over the UK really, but um, mainly based around the Midlands. So um, what I'm gonna do now is give a bit of a brief overview of the models I've got in here and um, where we're up to on them, and yeah, go from there. 
So if you're already following my Instagram account and Facebook or TikTok, you will likely have already seen most of my models. But just to give you a brief overview, so I've got this Dakota here, which is a fairly recent model to me. I didn't build it, I bought it from someone secondhand and I've just been going through it, getting it ready to fly, giving it a bit of an overhaul, checking everything over. I've recently just um, bushed the hinges to make them um, more secure so that there's no movement in there and I've actually done a video on how to do that so I'll be putting that up shortly. Um, I've also got my trusty old Acrowatt XL so this is a Chris Foss models um, and kind of bought the kit from new and yeah it's been flying great it's just a good all-round sport hack model. As I mentioned in the video earlier, so this was my very first turbine jet. So this is a Boomerang Nano, um, one of the older style ones. It's been quite, it's quite a few years old. It was um, passed on to me by a friend. And then, yeah, it's powered by a Ren 44 engine, turbine engine in there. We also have my little foamy Spitfire at the back here. So um, it recently had an issue in flight and did actually come to a bit of a sketchy landing, let's say, but I've managed to pull it back together and repair it. So it's all ready to fly again. We've then got the big Burfa here. So this is my F5. Um, so it's a big turbine model um, powered by a 160 size Jetsmont turbine. Uh, the model is an F5 or F5E Tiger II to be specific. Um, on the top shelf here, we've got a Messerschmitt BF109. So this is a, a black horse model that has then been scaled up and um, a few extra details and things added, uh, such as the yellow scheme um, that doesn't come as standard in the kit. Uh, behind that, there's a striker. Um, not flown that in a little while, but yeah, we've got that as well. I've also got a Grokner hot trigger. So I've owned this from new. Hiding behind there, there's a little Radian Pro glider. Coming over hit this side, I've got a few more racking. So um, this is the, the middle section to the Dakota with the two engines, two DLE 20s on there. I've also got a Sopwith Pup, which is also a fairly new purchase and um, still need to get it up and running. I've got the engine, the on engine isn't on there yet. So that's actually over here, ready to go. It's on a test stand, um, which we need to get up and running. Um, the wings for the sop with pup there at the top. There are a couple of other models in here. So there's the um, Ducty here and a Mini Avanti. They are friends models that I'm just helping store for a couple of for a little while um, but yeah they're all my models so far moving over to the other side of the workshop we've got the two workbenches so here's the p47 in progress uh, upside down at the moment with the plans on the wall there for the fuzz and then i've started work on the wing as well or the right side of the wing at least so this is what i'm i don't want to show too much about this because i'm going to do some separate videos on this um to show a bit of an update on the build progress and hopefully some build along videos and how to's and tips as well which will hopefully be quite interesting for everyone Okay, so that brings us to the end of this first introductory video. So hopefully you've enjoyed it and uh, getting to know me. Um, so make sure you do subscribe to keep in, in the loop with any upcoming videos that I post. Um, I'll be posting anything from P47 build progress. If you haven't already been following my Facebook and Instagram accounts on the progress of that, make sure you do. There's lots of pictures and build along with pictures on there which I'm hoping to replicate into video form as well. Um, there'll also be hopefully some how-to videos and hints and tips and plenty of flying videos as well from various events and things that we attend. So yeah, make sure you subscribe, drop a comment and like. If you have any ideas of what you might like to see on the video or what you don't want to see, just let me know, drop me a comment. 
the links to my social accounts, as always, will most likely be in my account. Hopefully, if I can work it out, they'll be showing somewhere in the video here. But if not, then um, yeah, go to my channel and follow the link tree or the socials that should be linked on there. Okay, great. Thanks and bye for now.